hello everyone so welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are going to talk about site to site vpn as in the last couple of videos we have seen that uh, point to site vpn how we can configure it how we can test it out in the environment and in today's video i'm going to talk about site to site vpn configuration if you want to see the some theoretical part on this uh, you may watch the entire previous series video where we have uh, discussed on these topics so let's start the implementation of this uh, site to site vpn configuration so first we have to connect to azure subscription could be through portal could be through shell wherever the way which you want then uh, we have to configure a vnet along with a gateway subnet so normally we are configuring a vnet uh, just for the network purpose we are not configuring a gateway subnet in that but here we have to configure it we had need to add the local site and add the public ip to our vpn device vpn device is in your on premises because site to site vpn you are going to configure the two sites right the one is a vpn which is host a vpn device that is hosted at your on premises and the another vpn device that will be host uh, from azure site so in at azure you have to add your local site and you must have an public ip address at your vpn server that is published on through on premises so that you have to take care i will install a windows server vpn services and use that along with public ip address then we, you have to configure your virtual gateway, VPN device configuration. You need to create, configure a VPN connection. And finally, we will test it out, the verification of that uh, VPN. So these are the steps we are going to do in this and the next much probably in the next video also. So you can watch my previous series of this video in the playlist that is in description box. And previous and the next video link is also in uh, description box so you can take it from there so let's start it first you have to deploy a win, uh, windows vpn server or any vpn server linux space anywhere it's up to you so i'm going to deploy a one vpn server here that is on premises server so i just need to add the roles and install the services i have taken a windows server 2012 to install the vpn services this is my local vpn svr and you need to ensure that you must have two nic cards which must be associated in your server one is your external one this one is my external net card and this is my internal nic card which is connected for the internal network or internal users this is the recommendation for any vpn okay so just clicking on next to get uh, services get installed so click on the remote access next then just click next i'm going to install vpn add the features as well as routing services so these two you have to select it in the rules remote access rules click next click next to get it finished okay so i have done that now i just go to my server and check my public ip what exactly the ip right now i have okay so this is my public ip it's 13.68.241.432 we have to use this where i will let you know later on so in the meantime it's getting installed i just go back to my azure portal and deploy uh, vnet configuration so let me just quickly move back here and i'm going to log in at my server portal create a resource and from here you can configure a virtual network so let me just quickly create it select the virtual network right now i am just going to create it i don't have a work group a resource group right now created so i am just going to create it also 
side to side VPN it would be if you already have a uh, resource group you can select it that one and then it's going to put it a name S to S then IP address assignment uh, the default range which they have already provided I am taking it as it is if you want to change it you can also change the subnet or segment address security not going to add anything specific keep it as it is tagging I don't require right now so I'm just going to create it It will take a couple of minutes in the deployment. Let me go back at my server and see. Okay, so the installation is finished in my on-premises environment. We have to do a couple of configurations that I will show you later on. We have to go to routing and remote access. You can see the role is installed, but the service is in stop state. We will bring up the service soon so okay so my virtual network deployment is completed I just go to my resource that is side to side VPN and here we have to add a gateway subnet so this is the subnet that is used by this VNet but now we have to add a gateway subnet that would be from here so I'm just going to add it here a gateway subnet uh, I can take it as 27 it would be totally depend how number, many number of uh, IPs you required right now I don't require much so I'm taking it 27 and the minimum requirement is 28 so uh, you sh you can take the minimum as 28 not less than that if you are going to take it it will get error let alone right now here so I'm just going to take it as a 27 the 28 is the minimum requirement uh, it would be totally depend how many network IPs you want for your network gateway segment so let's I'm going to keep it as it is leaving it everything as it is same and just clicking on save to adding this gateway subnet so the default subnet is this one and now that another one which I have just added it's a gateway subnet okay the next step what we have to do we have to create a virtual network gateway and installation and configuration of uh, this uh, routing and remote access so let me just go back at my home and create a new resource that is virtual network gateway virtual network gateway just click on this and click on create to continue it asking me to put a name so I'm taking it okay selecting type is router and I'm taking it as SQKS basic I don't require much configuration over there so it would be totally depend for your costing it asked me to select uh, you can see the resource group is not there so once you select a virtual network from here it will automatically take uh, the referred resource group so you cannot directly or explicitly assign it you have to use the vnet and according to the vnet it will take and place that uh, virtual network gateway uh, resource group here now you can see the gateway subnet which we have already added so it's mapped here so that's why we have to first add the gateway subnet public ip it's asking me to select a public ip obviously both ends required like the on premises require a public ip facing node uh, or nick card same as your virtual network gateway also required so at virtual network gateway I am just uh, putting it 
I'm just going to create a new public IP here. The name, you have to mention anything, what you want. Click next to do some tagging if you want. I don't want right now. Go ahead and directly create it. So the creation of virtual network gateway can take up to 30, 40 or 45 minutes sometime also. So just keep watching till now and uh, I will be back in the next video soon to connect it. Till the, the next video link is also in description box so you can take it from there. Till that time, thank you.